hello so let's continue we have seen uh, the selectors for the element or directly the tag name we have seen the selector class tip and we have seen the selector id based so now we are going to see a selector that is the attribute based now there are a lot of multiple ways for attribute based selection but i'm just going to discuss two of them so what is an attribute attribute is this i think everyone knows if you have used html it is obvious that you will know what is an attribute so every element has certain attributes certain attributes are specific to certain element or tag types and certain attributes are common amongst different type of tags fine so over here what i have done is i have set an attribute called as align to few of my paragraphs fine there are other attributes also but we are going to select use this and we, i have also set some values so we are going to see two variations of attribute selector so first of all let's come here let's see what we are trying to do as usual on the click of the button now i'm using a third type of event we have seen click double click here third type of event is mouse over so when mouse pointer is over your specified object this event will trigger so i have used this event two times over here so when my mouse moves over this this event will trigger now what we are trying to trigger in this event is we will be selecting our element based on attribute now as you have seen the element name or tag name is given directly id is given with a hash and class is given with a dot so here the name attribute attribute name is given in this square brackets fine so this basically means select all the elements which has the attribute align fine and another thing i am introducing here is a css method there are multiple methods with which you can manage manipulate or retrieve css values but here we are simply using using this css method over here which will update the css of the element which has the align attribute so we are setting the border to 5 pixel dashed red and another one which i have set is on the second button the same mouse over function so in this mouse over we are again selecting the elements which have the same attribute align fine and we will set the border with the css in a different manner now how this css is being given i'll be discussing it later on but when only one single attribute of the css is to be updated so we can simply write it like this the name of the css thing border over here and what is the value like this if multiple of them are there it is a bit different but that will be seen in a later on video when we discuss about css in details so over here we have our work where we are selecting the element based on whether it has a particular attribute or not fine so there are multiple variations with with this but this is the first and the simplest one and let us see this one in action okay so here is my example let me reload this page so all these are in some color now I think I moved the mouse over it. Okay, so let us see this in action. This is the page. So here when I move my mouse over here on the first button, what should happen is the border should become 5 pixel dashed red and in other case it should become 5 pixel dotted blue. So let's go to this. So here you can see the ones which have the attribute align are selected like this. And here, when I move the mouse on this, things that have this attribute are updated to this. So, now if we add this attribute to something else, like align right, maybe the attribute may or may not work, doesn't matter. We'll simply add it to something else also. Let's put it on the this one also. Fine. Though technically you should write correct HTML. Fine, here let's try this again. Fine, the attribute is working with the heading also. So you can see it is affecting 
all the elements that is having that particular attribute okay so that's the simplest way attribute so like if we say attribute let's say class instead of this let's change it to class fine now here you should not confuse it with the class selector okay this here means elements which is using the attribute class okay that means this name not the class name okay so let's try this now again let's see what happens so everything that is using the attribute class even the button got triggered with that fine so every element that was using the attribute class not a class class but attribute class got triggered any other attribute that we have is id let's try it with id also let's change this to id so any element again don't confuse it with id this is the id selector this is the attribute selector that means if any element has an attribute id so id over here so let's see okay so everything that is using attribute id is working okay so that is one of the examples where you can specify an attribute name and based on the attribute name that we can select now the other variation is to make it much more interesting is that you could specify the attribute as well as the name of the attribute fine so this can make things a bit unique like over here i have a line right so how it is to be given is we will say align is equal to now what you need to take care is if you are using double quotes over here inside this should be single quotes align right fine so i'm going to use the same thing here also put this over here align right so let's see which is aligned right this one is aligned right and h1 is aligned right okay so let's reload this and let's see now what happens so now the ones which are having the attribute align as well as the value right gets selected okay now what if we change it again to align left let's see left left fine i'm changing both of them so that you can see the effect when i move mouse on other ones okay so say here uh, so i don't think we have any of the align left do we have any align left no we don't have any align left so let's just make this one as a line left and see the effect on this so here you can already see that happening align left is working on this one so that's the basic selection based on attribute simply the attribute name can be given as well as based on the attribute and its value now there are a lot of variations on this that like uh, whether this is not there in attribute or this is equal to this similar to this and other variations are there as i said i'll discuss that in some other video so today what we have discussed is the attribute based selector and two simple mechanisms how it works so we'll continue in the next video